Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Misty Craft. Now in today's episode, we're a bit in a different place. We're still in the Mason, we're still in the Bangalkin Island, but we're not where we usually are and that's because ladies and gentlemen, we are in the farming area of Bangalkin Island. Yes, we need to start getting farms up because if we come back over here to the, uh, the estate area of the island, ooh, bit laggy today, anyway, back to the estate area of the island, we want to get this to actually be more of an estate. Now, right now, kind of Google is not really playing, but hopefully she'll come back soon. Um, so it's mainly just me and Arch right now. Um, but we're all busy in real life. So I've got to take it across to come and get some work done. We've got our, uh, our modern house to continue, but we're not working on that today. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to get these farms out of here so we can start making this place look pretty. And that's why we're over on this side of the island, over on the farming area, because we need to get this started. I need to start tearing down some of these hills and start building it up. It's going to be quite the challenge, but I am looking forward to it. But if we come back over here to where I was working, all the way at the end of the island, we have an area already started that I've started clearing out with one of the beacons. And I need to build it up. So, well not really build it up, but start building bits of an area. And I want to get some of the basic farms started. So farms like the sugarcane farm, uh, the cactus farm can be moved, um, and then maybe another farm if we have the time. But we have all this area that I do need to eventually clear down, and I think I will just be doing that between episodes when I'm just on the server, and I'll just do some grindy parts. But as you can see, hmm, not, not the best internet, and sorry, I'm getting distracted. But as you can see, these farms are in the way. And we have some basic farms. We have that cactus. We have this chicken farm that's producing the eggs for us. And then we have our sugar cane. And then our pumpkin. But these all need to be moved. So I'm going to start getting items over. And we'll start building up an area for it. Okay, so as we come back, I do have some items. And I want to bring up... No, not, not that... F3G and bring up the chunk borders. Yep, this is what I want. So we can see where a chunk is. And here's a chunk. So this would be a good place to load it. To, uh, sorry, to have the farm. Now, I want to bring it back. So I've got the red sand. And that's going to be the blocks. We have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if we come in like this. So here, we'll go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. It says four from there, and then if we go one, two, three, four, block one, two, three, four, that will give us some room to have these. Now, there is a reasoning why I'm doing this, and that's because I want to have like space, but I don't want it to have like you know, like so much. Like, I don't want it to take up a couple chunks, just need a farm because it will eventually become too big, but I just need a farm. Now, actually, I oh know I can't do that because it's sand. But I just need a farm that will produce a supply that I can leave off for a bit. And then I can change it up. But just realize as I did this, that I, I need to put it into the ground. So we'll come back here. One, two, three, four. And here. We'll just bring it back up. One, two, three, four. And here. And then all I need to do is get rid of this, get some water in, and I just need to fill it up, like so. And then I can just refill these buckets. And like that, nice and easy. Then I just get the sand back to make it easier. Sand. And then I've got this part of the sugar cane back. Then I, all I need to do is just quickly put down the sugar cane. And I've got the basics of the farm, but no, don't worry, that's not the farm. Because I do need to do more, and I'm just going to do a quick work, and we'll come back to it when I do have it done. So with this done, it 
it is a big up, bit ugly, and especially because I'm using these blocks. But in future, these blocks will be torn up, so these will be different. But if you have a look at it, you can see that it is base, a basic design. Sorry, I had a bit of a, a brain fart, but I don't have my redstone with me. But basically, what would be happening is there'll be an observer block here, and then a redstone line, and then it'll come down here. I don't need this, these blocks. But the redstone line will come down, and that's here. No. Ah, oh well. The redstone line will come down here, and then, yeah. Anyway, come down here, and then there will be a repeater into each redstone, uh, into each piston. Now, when this block grows up to a certain size, the observer will detect that block change and update the pistons, giving the sugar canes a nudge down. Then what I'm going to do is, once they are dropped, they'll be sent into a water stream which will be collected underneath the floor. So basically there'll be glass here, and this will be the walkway, and you can look right up. So basically I'm going to go get the glass and everything, and, oh, not the best take off, and now I haven't actually taken off. Basically go get the glass and the redstone, and we'll begin building it. And as I turn around, you will see the updates I have, and but ah, yeah, it's not the it's not fantastic right now. It's a uh, pretty basic, but you can see that I have got some more. Oh, if I could get some signposts, but they're going to be the third and final uh, pieces of it. And when the sugar cane grows enough, as you know, we'll get pushed down, we'll go into here, what will happen, we'll come through here, and then we'll go into these. Now this is going to be a pipeline, it's going to be visible from the outside as well, hopefully, if I can build it right. And it's going to go right up the top, and there will be one, um, not necessarily, ugh, I always say necessarily, necessarily, in, like, in here. It's going to be around somewhere else, might even be, like, another entrance, but that will take you up to the top where the, uh, chest would be. I know people usually go from down, but I'm going to go upwards this time, and if we grab some more signposts, I'll show you how I've been going. Uh, woods in here. So I'm going to get these. I'm going to fill the water up. One, one. There we go. And then grab my rocket and take off. Take off, I said. There we go. We'll fly up. And as we come up here, you'll see how it's going, and line up here, yep, there we go. And what happens is, I place down the sugar cane, then I get my blocks, and I cover up the water, as you know, for the back wall. And then I continue covering blocks up, like so. And then I grab my redstone repeaters and the redstone. I do need to grab the terracotta again, and quickly give the terracotta an upgrade. There we go. Chuck down my repeaters, the redstone. Just realised this is all too close. But yeah, I'll sh uh, and then look, let's say this redstone's the repeaters. Just chuck down the pistons. Any pistons that go astray like those will just be cleaned up. And it's pretty darn easy. It's a basic build, but right now it's going to produce some not the greatest quantity, but a quantity. But then later on, it will produce quite a lot, and I'll start having to throw out items I don't need. Uh, this needs to go out one, so I don't need these. I don't need you. I need, I need to go repair my items soon as well, which means I can show you where everyone on the server goes to repair their items. Not necessarily... You know what? I'm just going to make that thing. Necessarily. Not necessarily everyone on the server, but a large majority goes to repair their items. Alrighty, so I have successfully done all the redstone for this, and oh, there we go, just what I was waiting for. So it popped off, all the sugar cane does go into there, and it flies into here. Um, no, it's getting stuck there. That's a problem. It's not actually coming up here, it gets stuck down there. Now I want to see if they do come up at all. So if I fly up here, and as you can see, everything's done up here. 
So let's say I've got a few items to say they're coming up. You can say they do go in, but they're not getting sent in. Now what if I throw an ender pearl? Yeah, this is going to be a problem if the items aren't getting picked up. So let's just fucking jump out. Okay, so now that I'm out, I'll try this again. If this doesn't work, I might have to tear that up and go back to an original design with just hoppers down the bottom. Which I fear that I might have to. I was wanting to try something a bit different using the new water mechanics, but... Apparently that might not be possible, so let's go up again, I'm going to drop half a stack this time, well not a stack, but you know, just half of what I have. Now it does get sent up. Okay, well that's good. So as I already said, it's not lossless, but I can bear with that. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to go get more glass, so I need to fly back to the island. While I get more of that glass, I need to get the blue and the green. And then I need to start making an area for a reasonable storage. Um, doesn't I'm not wanting like a pretty storage, uh, just something that can work. Because as you know, the theme of this island is Arch, Googly and I live up over here in the, you know, the residential area. Um, and we, you know, live rich lives and we don't have to do anything, but our workers don't get the best conditions or the best jobs. So it's not going to, like, I'm not, like, I, I want the buildings to be, you know, nice to look at, but they don't have to be the nicest. It's, an, it's basically another way for me to say I don't have to be the best builder. I can just be a builder. Because as it goes, no, I'm not the best builder when it comes to building. Um... People like Arch, FCD, Kasari, and there's a bunch of other people on the server. Basically, everyone on the server are great builders, apart from me. I'm just the guy that does a bit of everything and wants to help out everyone. So, eventually my building will get better, but I mean, like, that I'm happy with. It's not the best, but I'm happy, like, comparing FCD's Modern House and Season 1 to this makes it look... But anyway, uh, so we need to get to this more glass, so I think I only need this much, and I think I may need to smelt some more glass again. It appears that I might. So as you guys can see, I've got a lot of terracotta around here, so I'm not sure on terracotta as well as, well, the landscape. Red sand's not a problem, I've got a lot of that, so all I need to do is just chuck it in our temporary smelter. See, so yeah, I'm going to have to get this out of the way eventually. Uh, four stacks, thank you. You know what, let's make it six stacks. And just makeshift smelter, nice and easy. And eventually all of this will be moving out of here. I've got the sugar cane running up. I want to get a cactus, that's going to be super easy. And I only need a small one like that. I could probably even fit that somewhere in another farm. Uh, sugar cane, the pumpkin and melon's going to be a challenge, and the eggs are just easy. I could probably put the eggs together with the pumpkin, not the pumpkin, the uh, cactus. But, oh, an idea that's popped in my head is what about we have areas that make stuff? So, like, you know, the pumpkin will be near, well, melons as well, because they're close, but, like, the pumpkin and melon can be close to the sugar cane and the eggs, because you use all three of those to make pumpkin pie, in a way. So, like, you know, if I need... If I'm in the mood to make pumpkin pie, I just go over there. But I'll continue building. And, well, we're doing a lot of updates on this, but I'll come back with you guys with an update later. And with fantastic news, if I come over here and chuck in this sugar cane, it will drop down, go into our, fo our stream, but then you see, this is complete, come straight up and straight into these chests. Now, weird thing is it goes three and three. But I'm sure like in future when these are completely, like these hoppers are completely full, it'll just fix it up. But, ladies and gentlemen, that does give us a bit of a basic storage and I can always have some others. But if we jump down here, it's ugly. Completely ugly. Yes, that is true. 
Um, I've got to do some building around it, make it look pretty, make it look decent. But it is functional. All of these produce it. I need to close it off, then start the building around it. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do two because I realise that this took so long. I might be able to. I might be able to squeeze in a cactus farm, but I'm going to have to start to get to building. So this is going to be fun. Okay, so it has been a while and I've done some changes and it's actually nearly finished. So prepare yourselves. It's not completely finished out, still got to do some stuff, but you'll see that in a second and voila. Yeah, it probably doesn't look the best from out here and since it's not done and doesn't have terrain around it, but this is <laughs> this is my attempt at making a building around it. Just a basic little building. It doesn't need to be the prettiest. As I've said this season, I'm not going for the prettiest builds. I'm going for the functional and easy on the eyes builds. And I, I'm pretty done proud with this. And you probably already guessed it, but if you didn't already know, the way to get up here is actually jump up into this vent and it'll push you straight up and we're still going to do a roof and everything but we're getting sugar cane into here and it's working it's it's a working farm i don't know why it's going up the top here but ah oh well but as you can see i've got to get the way down set up because we've got the way up set up and that did not work let me grab my axe and if i do this there we go. You might be able to hear a double door and that's because of uh, I've got my camera account online and I was looking at the build as I was building it to get a perspective. But it's gone pretty well in my opinion the way that we've done this. Like I'm nearly finished and I think to finish off this episode is not to do that. Definitely not that. The way to finish off today's episode is to actually go and show you guys where the majority of members on the server actually go and mend their items. And I'll show that shortly, but I just want to want to get this down. I don't think we're actually going to be able to get another building because I haven't actually seen the time for this video, but I imagine it is over the time I originally thought this was going to take. Okay, so to finish off today's episode, we are going to visit the community XP farm uh, where are they? Animations all off, done. And this is actually a guardian farm, which you may have guessed from the blocks, but this is a guardian farm. And if people don't already know, guardian farms are very, very powerful when it comes to grinding XP. But if you haven't, oh, sorry, just had a hiccup. If you haven't actually seen any of Soulful Archer's work or this already shown on the server, just look at this. Soulful was created. One, two, yeah, two. So that's eight iron farms surrounding his uh, guardian farm. And I know, because I've helped do an iron guardian farm, I haven't done one myself, but I know that they take forever to do. And here you go, you can see them spawning. I don't think we'll see any iron golems, but this would have been one heck of a job. And he's built this area for everyone to spawn in. And you can sit here and watch the guardians come down you can even see through here but this is where all the xp happens so if we go down here and pop down to the bottom you can already hear some but basically what we want to do is come down the bottom we'll keep my armor on because i need to repair that but we want to put on for us to grind the xp we go in we stand here and we'll swipe us all but i forgot to put the tools in my offhand and it repairs insanely quick uh, might not be insanely quick because guardians are still spawning and I do have armor on but I've taken that off now and you'll see that it is repairing my pick and it's going quite well but anyway ladies and gentlemen I hope you did actually enjoy today's episode we built a farm that's a good Good, good way to start after the past two episodes. We've built a modern house. We've built a shop to build farms. Now we've built a farm. So we can take one farm down. There are still a couple farms to go. And hopefully I can get the place to look nice and pretty fast. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in the next episode. But this is goodbye from your Aussie. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.
打造爱。